So you're minding your own business, looking at all your plants in your house until you see these little fly things and they go up your nose and they get everywhere. Well, they're called fungus gnats. And this is the best thing to get rid of them. They're like sticky traps. Now, I've put these bad boys in for five minutes. And look how many I've caught in five minutes. I know. They die alone. And they die in pairs. And the more that it attracts to them, all their buddies are like, Oh yeah, there's my mate. I'll go hang out next to him. And then they get trapped. It's, it's a great invention for indoors. And why do I say for indoors? Because I've seen these traps about before, I'm not going to lie. But there's some time you thought, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do you. And then you thought, oh, no, we're trapped together. No, I want to escape. No, you weren't going to escape. You're not going to go up my nose anymore. I'm sick and tired of going up my nose and happening anyway so I was subcontracted onto this this job and I was working in this um, veg veg patch and they had all these all these in the garden for this sowing of the seeds and shit and then John John the gardener goes oh no look at that and it was John and then I saw it was a baby robin well, it wasn't a baby, it was a robin. And its wings were all caught in it and it was trying to flap away and no one was doing anything about it. And I thought, no, no, I'm going to do something about it. So I did something about it. I, I grabbed it and I just tried to get it off this yellow sticky substance, which is just awful. And I, I, got, I got it free, but it's it, it looked like it would never fly again you know what I mean it, it still had its wings but oh, a lot of the feathers were just still on the sticky tape but um, it did hop away and to this day I still hope it, it just found lots of worms on the floor and it lived a happy happy life so so, so the message is yeah these are great for indoors and indoors only where little robins aren't going to get caught in them. Or any sort of bird for that matter. Or, or little shrew. You wouldn't want a shrew getting caught in it, would you? But anyway, yeah. So this is a gnat catcher and fungus gnat catcher and they're great. But if you've enjoyed watching this, then please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Kissy green fingers. Ta-da.